how to write a function to use the Newtonian referencing method to find the real root of cubic equation one at a time. Now, these are the coefficient of a cubic equation and with a guess. Now, one, what I will do now is first I will write the first I will write the uh, the the function so I'll write a code that will solve this the cubic equation using the um, Raphson method. After doing that, I will write I will plot the graph of this equation. Now to be able to know where the guesses are where where I will make my guess they are now to get the exact value. So now let me start. Now, for me to go, I need to now go into the Visual Basic environment to write this code. For me to do that, I'll go to the um, Developer tab, click the Visual Basic button. Or, another way also is to click the Auto Plus, Auto F11 button together. That is, press the Auto button and the F11 button together. Then I'll, I can go into that Visual Basic environment. Then another way is, is just this du uh, developer tab and uh, Visual Basic. Now, there are two ways to bring in this uh, developer tab. The developer tab by default is not in your Excel window. The way to get them in your cell, in your cell or main menu, main tab, is to by right clicking at this ribbon here. Click the click the customize ribbon. When you click, you now check this developer tab and click OK. You can also go to the file, click the option, click option, click the customize ribbon, click the developer tab. The that is this check box, uh, box here and click OK. So now you get this developer tab here. So okay, let me just show you the way it is normally the, in a default form. When you right click, click, um, click the uh, customize ribbon. You let me uncheck this and click OK. You see, the developer tab is not here again. Now let me now click here. Right click, click the customize ribbon. Now you have the developer tab. I check it. You see now it's not here. As I Check this box beside this developer tab. Click OK. It comes here. Now I will now go into my Visual Basic environment to write the code. Now under this code, I will write the code inside the module 5. The module 5 environment, the coding environment. So now we'll start with function. We say new Newton. That is Newton referencing method. That is what we are using here. So now we just write Newton referencing method. I will put in the guess first. Comma the coefficients. You have comma a, comma b, comma c, comma d. Bracket close. We enter. Now. I need to define some variables I'm going to use. Now, I will now, there are some constant. I will say constant. I will say const. That should be precision. Precision as, as double equal to one exponential minus 12 Enter. so this is a constant now this is how to write constant in visual basic so now i need to also describe okay now we're going to use in the course of doing this if there are some variables i needed to to use i will define them 
Now, let me now start. I'll start with do. I'll start with do loop while conditions. Condition statement. So now I will not write do. Now, I will not put down some statements here. So what I will do now is, I will now use, I say guess 1 is equal to guess. Now, so guess 1 is a variable, so I need to define it. I will now say dim guess 1 as let me say double or oh, I can say as long now having defined that I will now say okay guess one is equal to this this now let's go into one note now a cubic a cubic equation you have a times x raised to power three plus b times x raised to power 2 plus c times x plus d. This is a cubic equation which is equal to 0. So equating it to 0 is a cubic equation. Now let me assume that this function, the function of x is a s cube. X, a times x cube plus b times x squared plus c x plus d so this is a function so now let's now get the first derivative of this function which will now give us 3 a x squared plus 2 b x plus c so now these are the two functions now we now have the the function and the first derivative of the function. So now, and new Newton Raphison Newton Raphison method. Now the method says. Now you're looking for x. X. Let's say s k plus one is equal to s k minus the function all over the first derivative of the function. So this is a formula for Newton uh, Raphson method. So this is the the formula. This is the equation we are going to use inside inside the code in order to be able to find the real roots of the cubic equation. So now, I will now go into the visual basic environment to write this code. Now, let's go into the environment. You have this, okay? This is not IUV. Let me define the function as f equal to I will define the function as f equal to a times x raised to power 3 plus b times x raised to power 2 plus c times x plus d. So this is in. Now the derivative, the first derivative of the function, I'll let me call it f prime. So my f prime now should be equal to three times a times x raised to the power two plus two times b times x plus c now this is what we get now for the prime so now we will now use the newton, the, the newton raphison method now we will now see now in this formula our 
guess one will not should be x let me replace x with our guess one so we just need to paste and replace x with guess one so i'm replacing x with guess one here i also replace x with guess one by using copy and paste so now now because from here now i've assigned guess one as the same thing as guess so therefore our guess now the new guess will now be equal to guess one minus f divided by f prime now f and f prime they are variables i need to define them so now i will now say comma f comma f prime as double Now, having defined it, I will now continue. Now, for me, I needed to indent this inside, so I will just press the tab key, goes in. So now, the next thing is to loop. So loop while the absolute value of guess one minus guess is greater than look why this is greater than the precision is greater than the precision so now look why is greater than the precision now that num that means Newton will be equal to our guess so this is it now let me see if there are so any variables are didn't define okay okay i defined variable uh, okay let me just let's check if there's no if there's variables i didn't define i'll now define them let's cross check let's check the question now so now what we're going to do is we are going to draw a graph of this now for for me to do that let me also let me first define this uh, let me define this these cells down here that is from a a2 to a to e2 then by se selecting this now let me use now name define so create from selection now top row correct i will just now when you look at the you see you have a b c d and guess so well defined now now here let me just put in one let me go to home tab fill home tab fill series column now the difference should the step this the step value should be 0 0.5 now it should be 13 the stop value should be 13 so that is it so created this now let's let's now input the formula you have a times now let me just let me call this x the whole of this let me call it x so let me go to formula define the name okay x so x is already there so now call it x now here 
I will just input the formula. I will just say a times x raised to power two, raised to power three. Sorry, plus b times x raised to power two plus c times x plus d equal to Okay, this is C underscore, sorry. Now, enter. Now, let me scroll down. Now, I have different values here. Uh, at 1 is 0, at um, 10 is 0, at 12 is 0, so okay. Why, okay, let me just change, make a change to this value. So that I won't let me just say 1.1 so that I won't see the points where we have zeros here. So already the zeros are showing. Let me choose a number that will not that will not give me the factors, the values of x that will be one of the factors. So I'll say start from 1.1. I go to home tab film series uh, let me use step value of 0 0.4 and at uh, 13 uh, this is now what let's go back step value of uh, 0 0.4 13 then here column enter so now Ten. So let me bring it down to here. So let me now extend. So let's go to the formula tab. I will now select the x value, edit it. Now change this to thirty seven. Say okay. Close. So it's done now. So now what I'll do is to let's plot the graph. Select the whole of this. Go to insert tab. Now plot um, graph. So let me just say I want to start this from zero point four. Now I want to start this from zero point four. Then I'll fill in series column zero point zero point four. Then here is starting. Now we have so let's edit this again. That is the disadvantage of this. So now let's edit it again. Let's um, go back to this. So let's start in nine. Let me just change this to 39. So now we have a guess value here. 
we we'll have a guess value here we we'll have a guess value here already this one is at 10 12 so now let's try let's try with this so the answer here is supposed to be 10 here is supposed to be 12 and this one should be 1 but let's now check the graph you know now I have a guess value let me say of 2 now meaning I sh the answer should come to be 1 here because this 2 is closer to this one now let's work it out so equal to and now say Newton press the tab key I will say guess press tab key comma a comma b comma c press the tab key and d close the brackets enter see the guess is two we have one here so that means the result the answer the root is one which is one here now let's now guess this 10 using 9 now if i change this to 9 see it's 10 correct now let's change this to let's say 11 11.1 or 11.2 since 12 closer so that is it so is very accurate so now we have just written a code using Newton uh, referencing method so thank you for watching till the end and if you love this video please subscribe and hit the notification bell and also do well to share the video thank you